Welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Choka Bros. I know you all have missed us very much and very deeply, and I, we're, we're, we're so sorry for that. You know, life happens. Uh, maybe Espy will tell you some super secret news that he told on stream the other day, later in the pod. But some things have happened where we haven't been able to play as much and as frequently as we like. But I'm your host, Swarles Barkley. I'm joined by Espy Cat. That's me. Hello. Hi. And my good friend, Iron Aggro. Yo, good friend. Wow. Always good friend. These are my chocobros. Mm. They're always great friends. Uh, So, guys, it's been a while. What have we done since, you know, we've talked last for FF4? Uh, We played some of FF5, actually. And then some? planned a lot of middle podcasts in between, and they just haven't done them. That would be have you. You planned those, because I probably won't be a part of those, because they that's... probably have to do with, like, FF14, I'm guessing. That's true. That's... I have no that, idea what uh, we've planned. True. What? I don't even know what I had for breakfast this morning. Swarles, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I don't know. Oh, wow. Good thing, good to know he wasn't lying. Okay. Mm. There's a test. So, anywho, well, um, do you want to get into some FF news? Yeah. Or do you want to say into some real life news? Real life, real life super news. secret stream news. Sp, really, you're really putting me on the spot here. I can edit it out if you want me to. No, it's okay. The Mrs. SB Cat and I are expecting a baby. Yo, we're gonna have a little Choka brother. The Choka baby. I I think I don't think it'd be a Choka brother. It'd be my my child. I think it'd be like Choka kid. But no, I don't no, like no, how no, that no. sounds. I don't. I'm a Choka. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Choka uncle. You 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 guys are Choka uncles. Agro Choco actually uncles. graciously ordered a Chocobo plush and um. I forget the name of the book, but it's like a, a kid's book about like an airship. Um, and that that arrived recently, so that was that was Chocobo sweet. Bow on the front. Yeah. So yeah, no, we're, we're like expecting fun. we're expecting a kid, and uh, everybody's convinced that Chocobo Chocobros will take a big hit. Um, and I'm in denial still. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. But we'll figure it out. Okay. What's more important, a podcast or life of my kid? Uh, def definitely your kid. Eh. All right. <clears throat> we'll we'll talk about that a different day. No, yeah, well, we're excited. In other news, Agro has <laughs> also got some super secret news. Uh, True. Oh, I um, I've got nothing actually. I have no I good improv here. I thought you said that you were gonna be an uncle. Whoa! You're gonna be get it? I <laughs> get it, cause uh -huh. Espy's baby. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought this was I thought this was something extra I didn't know about. I was like, whoa, this is no, crazy. Not yet. Within no. next year, I will bet. I will bet that is true. true I think I can say. I hope so. so. I think I don't know. Well, you know what? We're we're really happy for Espy. We're hoping you know the best for Carissa. She hasn't been on stream with us and everything recently and we hope she's resting up and everything's going well we'll keep her in our thoughts and prayers and hope you all out there as well will do the same uh Thank you. let's get into some ff news guys what what all has happened since uh we've uh, talked last well it's been two months so a decent amount of stuff's happened good and bad um, yeah the only thing i know is from the game awards so yeah so some of it is just skim over worthy because i'll say ff14 had a had its big uh as most recent patch, it had um, it, it, the fan fest, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. And we're going to skip right by that because at some point soon, me and Sean are planning to do something for that. We'll, we'll get back to it. I, I don't know exactly what or when, but we'll get to that. Are you guys don't supposed worry, to play you, on you stream? Have 14 fans. No. Okay. We're just, we're like, we plan to do a podcast for the, this patch and the fan fest. And then we'll yeah. do one again in January for the next patch at the fan fest before, and that'll be the last thing before the um, like actual expansion comes out in the summer. Other than maybe a like, what do we think is going to happen in the expansion sort of thing? Yeah, but you could probably do we'll a spoiler or, or whatever it is a predictions cast. Yeah, more like FF Snorteen. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> Absolutely got him. Um, but the one thing I will talk about is the FF sixteen crossover was announced. True. Uh, and oh, in fourteen. Have, yes, in fourteen. Um, oh. So there, they, there's some cool stuff in there. You see, uh, in the trailers, they showed off Clive, uh, comes over to Eorzea. 
you know, we'll get to fight Ifrit from FF16 and all that. So I'm excited for that quest, whatever it is. The FF15 quest uh, they had a while ago is actually pretty fun. Uh, but, you know, expect more news on the FF14 and the FF14 themed podcast episode soon ish TM. TM. Um, then some miscellaneous FF7 stuff came out in some interviews. Uh, which the biggest things, there's a lot of small stuff, but the biggest things are the fact that the director of the game said that the FF7's Rebirth's main story will take 40 to 50 hours, while uh, all doing all the side content will take up to around 100 hours. So that's about... I love a big game. I love a, a big I game. I want to say I over double the length of the remake. Really? Wow. At least for doing all the side content. Because I think doing all side content took around, like, 50 hours, would you say, SB? Uh, You're asking me to remember a game I played three years ago. But some... I mean, it was... It was quite a lengthy endeavor mm-hmm. to to do everything, I mean, especially having to like. I think I got to like the f- plate falling, and I was like mm-hmm. at least you four were two or five streams in. Yeah, you were two thirds of the way through. Uh, that's, yeah. the actual main story takes around thirty to thirty five hours. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like it didn't feel that long though. I will say that. Mm-hmm. It's it's a very uh, w- it's a very well paced game. It's a palatable it's like, game. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what. The hundred hour FF seven rebirth is. So we'll see. Golly, hundred uh, hours, jeez. That's so good. I wanted, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to point out um, that I saw that I haven't seen many people talking about, which is why I want to mention it in like a one of these main podcasts, is that one I forget who exactly who said it, but thanks to Orpheus Joshua, who wrote an article about uh, back at was it Tokyo Game Show, I believe. They did a full hour-long stream, and it finally got an official English translation, and he watched through that. Mm-hmm. And something he pointed out and wrote an article about was that one of the, I believe the director said that you'll be able to swim across the ocean. What? Like, just to the other continent. Just swim. Well, there's just half of the, half of the freaking time right there jeez louise yeah that that's <laughs> the, the 20 hours bonus, right there uh, there's a weapon you can only get if you swim across the map that'd be really and they're funny. like well no guys look it's you see um but uh, like swirls a big I'm, i'll say something i will say is a big part of what will be this game and a big part of the original game is trying to get on a boat to get to the other continent yeah and that's still going to be part of the game but theoretically you could just swim to the complete other side right from oh, the get-go. Gosh. I assume they have something stopping you, but let me tell you, I'm gonna test it. I am gonna very much test that theory. Oh, gosh. But I wanted to point that out where more, to more ears will hear it. Um, another thing I want to point out is uh, put on your theory caps, everyone. FF9. You know, we've known about the leaked FF9 remake for a long time now. When is it coming? Who knows? Maybe that's what I want to know. Four. Who's the who's the protag in that? Zidane. Yeah, I don't know that person at all. <clears throat> you don't. You you wouldn't. No. But what you don't know as well is that recently, as in within the past two months, F9 has had crossovers with both Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and Final Fantasy, uh, I believe Brave Exvius. It might be the other mobile game, but one of those two. And I I just want to point that out. Share with the world. But we haven't Everyone seen knows. anything for it here recently, though. No. Like, really. for a remake. You, you know, we were in a call for the Game Awards, and I know people were just like, come on. But we it's like, we truthfully, I think I think that if you're going to hear anything, it's going to be after FF7 remake and possibly Definitely. even KH4. Uh, I don't think so, because FF9 remake is definitely not developed by the same team that do remake. Yeah, but I mean, they, they seem to do that, though. They go Final Fantasy... Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Kingdom well, Hearts. No, see, the, the thing is, they, you have to think about it in the way they talk about it, in that Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7, and Final Fantasy 14 are different franchises to them. In the way they market and the amount of money and games they get, Final Fantasy main, uh, like mainline and spin all other rough random spinoffs or whatever, that's one thing. That gets the X budget. Whereas 14 gets the same budget and spin-offs and marketing budget and stuff. And then 7 also gets that same amount. 
So, like, they're Which not. Which is crazy the same that thing. Seven gets that much money just yeah, seven. as a standalone game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they consider Seven its own, like, franchise. Yep. I mean, That's I'd crazy. say it's as popular as every other game in the series combined yeah. outside of 14, which is as popular as every other game in the series combined. Yeah. Outside of 7. So, I can see that. It makes sense, but on a release schedule basis, that's what they consider. Obviously, they're not going to release it right on top of one another, but, you know, it was in the same years and stuff, it's possible. All right, well, we have some sad news now for Mike Michael Spaghetti, and I'm, I'm terrible, oh, terribly sorry that we have news. to... We have to Alexa, we have to ruin Mike's Mike's whole day. I'm certain he hasn't heard about this yet. There's no way oh, he yeah, has. There's no way he's heard. Insider scoop. Mike, Mike, you know the team at Final Fantasy reached out to me to let to, we're we're actually breaking the story open wide. Decidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia's ending service worldwide February 2024. Mike, you have two more months of this beloved game of yours. Enjoy I'm it. Cool, even open it. It's it's a sad time because like everything I've heard about that game is about how it's like the best free to play gotcha game. Yeah. It is the one that's least that tr- least is least predatory and pro- actually trying to get you to spend money on it, and it has like an actual story, and like I'm I'm gonna go through eventually when they do the YouTube like they said they're going to upload all the content to YouTube, like ra- they said rather than an app. Like, uh, you know, like Dark Road and Road. Missing, and, um, Union Cross. Uh, Union Cross, thank you. I don't know why I could remember that. Rather than that, they talked about how, like, eventually they'll have to shut that down too. Well, yeah, because, I mean, really? yeah, they, they can only pay cost... for so long to host mm-hmm. a server. Yeah. Like, it, it might be decades from now, but eventually that's a thing. So, what they're going to do is they're just going to upload the full, the full thing to YouTube and go from there. True, because they don't have to pay anything there, mm-hmm. and they actually make money off of it too, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, At yeah, a little some. bit, right? You know, they're it's some. getting those residuals. But I intend to go through all the story. The the very sad thing is that like they're not going to get to finish the story. It's it's not ending at like the end of the the st- the story arc. Like, uh, wait, Union that Cross had a story did. with it? Yeah, yeah, oh, it, yeah. Had, it had a continuous story oh, wow. that been going for five years. Wow, and they 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 were probably like halfway to two-thirds through act three that's I wonder, just crazy i always assumed that game was making pretty good money so to hear it's like hey we're shutting it down apparently like it really nosedive in the past like two years yeah what i'm g- assuming is that the covid covid spiked it and then sure, it's just been fair. going too far down after that yeah I guess so it's, very, it's right. very sad especially when there's two other final fantasy mobile games that like i hear brave xvs super uh predatory it's brave xvs and what else uh um, war of the visions no that's a fucking war of the, no war of the visions yeah what about eos that i don't know what that is the 15 15- oh that... i guess that that does, that technically i don't even know if it's, that counts. it's it, technically it a mobile game technically it is yeah the thing with that is that they are not like square they like square gave them the ip and like yeah just, they like it, licensed it's it. just the go here's the ip <laughs> make, give us money and we will let you keep it yeah uh, and so whereas the rest of them are actually like being funded by square okay yeah mm-hmm. um but there's also ever crisis yeah it's, 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 it's on steam hooray on steam where you can buy it ever crisis you can play it for free on Steam. There you go. I was, I was that like, wait a second. Better. Yay. Well, yeah, uh, who knows? In, in, yeah. In, where that's over. It's just sad news. I I might talk to Mike or someone to see if we can get an Opera Omnia funeral podcast. Oh, my God. Sort of thing. Talk to, That'd be hilarious. Try to, get, try to get a couple of people who played the game. Oddly enough, I think Carson their, played that as well. With it. Really? really? Okay. Well, I'll talk around to the, the uh, this groups and see who we can fine for that convinced Mm -hmm. yeah um but moving on uh the game awards time ff16 uh, for win and like they were nominated for a few awards different final fantasy games but 16 won for best music uh at the the game awards shocking no no one's surprised hmm did the did the voice actor win no 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 one to neil newbon who was hysteria in ball of skate 3 yeah 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 
which very good, very good performance. Um, and then seven rebirth won most anticipated game. So I, was, I, I think that's not I shocking. I'm honestly surprised at how big rebirth seems. Like I always, I always forget that. Yeah, hey, FF Seven's actually that popular. Yeah, FF Seven is really popular, mm-hmm. and it's also rarer nowadays. You get like a direct sequel like that, like this, to a triple A video game. Like, no, I know what you like, mean. Can, yeah, can, can, like as in can, where they go at the beginning, first game they go, okay, this is the game, and the next game's going to continue the story, and it's going to wrap up in the next game. Like usually, it's hey, God of War, right? God of War came out, and yes, it had a direct sequel later, but like that's maybe the one time. When else nowadays do you should the last see AAA of us? games? But even that, it's the Last of Us came out, the story was done, it's complete, and they made a sequel to it. It's oh, not, we I, are we are setting out saying. to make this overarching story in these I AAA video saying. games. I understand what you're saying. It's very rare that happens nowadays because of how much time and money AAA games cost. Yeah, they kind of want to get mm-hmm. it. Where it is, and then have the freedom mm. to do something else. But speaking of Seven Rebirth, uh, the theme full theme song was performed live with a trailer at uh, the Game Awards. I mean, I I love it. I love 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 it. They can't it talk was, about it too much because of me. It That's was true. it was very good, mm-hmm. and there were scenes in there that I'm interested to see how they play out. Mm-hmm. Yes, expect. Like... Uh, Oh, oh, well, like this one. Uh, no. Um, expect the uh, FF7 Rebirth predictions episode very soon. I will I will give you a little teaser. Myself and Sean underscore FK himself have devised exactly how Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will end. We will give you a audio description of the final scene of Seven Rebirth. They're they're convinced. I'm not. I mean, I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. You'll be convinced. If it doesn't I will, I end, will bet you will be convinced by the end. If it doesn't end with a dance number where Cloud says, "I'm feeling Midgarific," hit it, Tifa, and then that's, that's the third game. That's... Oh, sorry, you're right. That's the mm-hmm. ending of everything. You know, Sephiroth, yeah. maybe you weren't so bad after all. Let's go get some burgers, or something. They sing the High School Musical. We're all in this together. Wow. I I just uh, wanted to, I just let that keep going. I I didn't want to stop it. You shouldn't have. We were having a great time. But something that uh just, you know, uh, also before we get into more news, you know, I have something that Agro doesn't even have down. Oh. oh. Final Fantasy. Is coming to Apex Legends. Oh no! Expect the Choka Bros to be playing no. fi- Final Fantasy no, in Apex agreed. Legends. No. He agreed. Really, he- you, you'll do it. You'll do it. I will do it. I guess. Yes, I guess go. I. I guess I have to. Let's go. I will not be buying the skins though. No, probably not. No. Why would I do that? But. Mm. Well, we'll uh, here, what we'll do, what we'll do is we're gonna play until we can find someone using the skin. Oh gosh, we're gonna be playing forever. Uh. It's not like Fortnite where everybody buys the skins. I don't think people buy it in Apex. What What uh. really bothered me is the way Which they is really announced stupid. it. I don't get why they. I don't get why they're Jeff doing Keeley, it in Apex. He goes. He goes. We have one more thing that we think Final Fantasy fans are gonna like, and we're like, oh shit. Ever nine. Ever nine. Ever nine. Apex Legends Final Fantasy. What were the skins that Fuck. were? Coming? Who? Uh, I don't. There's a Cloud, Vincent, and uh, Aerith one. Yeah, that's what it was. And I they have the buster. They have the buster swords. It's mm-hmm, for crypt. Mm-hmm. One of them, I think, was crypto. There's a uh, Tetsuya Nomura art for it. Yeah, th- that art's really nice. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, that that was uh, uh, that was I the guess... big thing. But the biggest thing from the Game Awards was. The Final Fantasy 16 DLCs were finally announced. And it uh, dropped X- right then and there. It did. I was, it was so shocked. I was so shocked. You go go back in my VOD and hear the sound of me gripping onto my chair so hard that I tore off part of my chair arm. And you hey, can hear it break on stream. Hey, yo. That actually might be worth posting onto the Choke Bros channel. I may think Maybe. Uh... But 
But yeah, the uh, first DLC came out. Uh, now look forward to our thoughts later. Has anybody uh, played it? The... Oh, yeah, oh we both it. have. We both have. We both have. The full thing? Yeah. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. It's pretty oh, wow. short. About, yeah, it's about two and a half, three hours long. Oh, wow. We'll, 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 get, we'll get to our thoughts on that soon. Okay, wait, wait. Just give, um, me, give me this. Give me this. Better than Remind or about the same as no. Remind? No, not as good as Remind's Remind. Remind's one of the best DLCs ever. So. Okay. I think all around, uh, for me, around the same level as the story part of Remind. Okay. Basically, imagine if they released that on its own. Yeah, I'd say it's about that level. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then the second DLC will be out in the spring. Uh, probably, which will be around a eight hour DLC and ten if with with the side quest. And so, hmm? something that we thought was missing from the base game will be making an appearance. Mm -hmm. I won't say anything for for Swarrel's sake, but if you know, you know. If you know, oh. you know. Um, Sid, but Sonic yeah, it, the Hedgehog. Fully, I, it definitely expect this game in like April or or May. I would say, because. So you got Final Phase Seven Re Rebirth coming out February 29th, and then the FF14 expansion coming out around like June or July. So, right in the middle there is where I'd expect it for everyone. Uh, but that's the news. We did it. All right, thank you guys for watching. No, 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 oh. no. Oh, what, what else? have we what, we what have we been doing for the past 14 months? 14 We've been months? playing. We've been playing Final Fantasy V because it's the longest video game ever. But before we get into Final Fantasy V, we have a break from our sponsors. Just kidding. We don't have any of those. Uh, I was going to make that joke too. But then I was Final, like Final Fantasy 1 through 5. SB, you have been platting these as we play them. How's that going? Uh, I'm pretty much caught up. I mean, 1 through 4 is all done. Uh, Final Fantasy V, I'm expecting to get to like the platinum point within like a day or two. And then. You know, when we start FF6, I'll just be kind of... Like, we'll be doing Chocobro stuff, and then I'll be going back in my free time and getting to where we are, but getting all the chests and the hidden items and blah, blah, blah. Cause I, I thought you were playing that. 6 already for Chocobro, no, so... No. Yeah, but, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we're going to do 6 for the Chocobros. And then after we do Chocobro 6, like... Like, okay, all right, we, we got up to the first town. I will go back myself on a separate file where I'm just doing 100% everything. That way I'm not ruining, like, the uh, the first-time experience. I'm going to let you know. Makes sense. For, for six. When, you get, when we get around to the halfway mark, you can't do that. For reasons, I'm yes, not going to say. It might, it might have me do stuff that we're not at yet. At, like... Yeah, that's it, fine. Once the second half of six, you can do things in different orders. And so... Basically, you're just gonna have to stop once we get to the second half. That's fine. I got other video games I can play. Okay. I just wanna, I just wanna put that out there now. Thanks, um, Dad. Yeah, we've also been playing uh, the. I wanna, I wanna say we played this FF16 songs came out in theater rhythm. SP, did you play them? Uh, no. I need to go on and download them. No. But the final DLC for theater rhythm, the FF16 songs. I think they had a very good selection. They had e every song I wanted. From the base, the base game was in there except for one, so mm -hmm. I think I did definitely a very very good selection. Yeah, sele selection. Wait, so is that supposed to be the last DLC for uh, Theater Rhythm? Mm -hmm. I thought it wasn't for a long time, but apparently it is. So. Really? Like you don't think we're gonna get Seven Rebirth? Nah, I think they're really done. they're done. It. They're moved on. I think I it's get... it's possible, but I I doubt it. I just feel like it's They'll move on to their next game. Printing money. I don't think so. I don't think theater is theater necessarily that popular. Really? Oh, maybe, maybe. And I, I mean, just... like they already have an insane amount of songs in that game. That's true, and I'm also kind of like all my friends talk about it, so it must be really popular. Mm -hmm. And you didn't when... even play the DLC. Yeah, that's true. Uh, whatever. I'm just glad we got some DLC for it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, then oh, well, we have one more. Oh. The last thing we have, then I guess, is. Echoes of the Fallen. Yeah, they. It, it was definitely not long enough to be part of its own podcast, so I no. think talk about it here. Let's see what did you think. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was really good. I thought the final boss of it was very. What's the word I want to use? Very like colors were nice. It was super like Final Fantasy. It just it was just good. You know, it was just mm -hmm. 
real good old fashioned boss fight. Um, I think the whole DLC, I give it like seven out of ten, like eight out of ten, maybe. Like it was, it was mm-hmm. good. Uh, the the money I spent on it versus the enjoyment I got out of it, like happy with that. Yeah, I think it's like the ten bucks is a perfect price. Yeah, yeah, like I think it's an in and out little little treat. If it was, if it was twenty bucks, I would I would have expected no. a little bit more. Um, but ten bucks, like well, yeah, what you pay for versus what you got, absolutely hundred percent could not recommend mm-hmm. it more. Yeah. What about you? You guys are luckier me. than me. You guys are luckier than me. Ten bucks, I would take that in a heartbeat. I just paid seventy dollars for the newest COD, and that thing is oh. dog crap. Oh. You see, that's what that's why I play one game every year. Rip. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I I liked it. I think. I think it honestly would have been better if you cut most of the story content. I think like they have a half hour of story content for like making this dungeon, you know, seem ha- have have some story backing and have some lore and stuff. And I, I like I don't think it's interesting. The new character they have in it is not good at all, in my opinion. They like they could have easily just gone, hey. I heard there's this creepy cave, says NPC, and yeah. Clive goes to cave and like, wow, this cave is creepy and does have stuff in it, and that would have been perfectly fine with me. Yeah, I don't know. Just um, putting putting Sephiroth just didn't make any sense. Like, uh, uh, oh shit, uh, spoils. Spo- 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 what? Spo- 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 what? <laughs> it, it was uh, as long as the second DLC is more substantial than that, mm-hmm. like it has like more to it. Um, we'll be good. Yeah, I definitely think this was like the best, probably the best dungeon in the game. Yeah, you're um, probably right about that. Like I'd say, yeah. one of my few complaints with complaints with sixteen is that there wasn't really a final dungeon, and I feel like this something like this should have been in there right at the end. I, th- I think this this could have been really cool towards the apex of the game, maybe mm-hmm. like final dungeon or two or three. Yeah, but hey, now it's it, now it is basically. Yeah, um, that's true. And, yeah. and I think the last boss is. Me- probably mechanically my favorite boss in the game, maybe second favorite. Uh, and visuals wise, super cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll just say for those who've who've seen it, you know exactly what song it is. But all of the like, I would say there are four or five new songs in the game, most of the ambient and the boss theme. Uh, they are all a very very clear remix of a certain Final Fantasy fourteen song. Uh, in involved like that is the. The character, the boss's theme in that game, and I, I was, I was very happy and definitely singing, singing the entire time, oh, and humming with it. But good DLC, big fan. Yep. All right, all right. I guess it's time. It's time. F. Final Fantasy V. Five. Good game. Ba, 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 ba. Should I start us off? Please. I'm scared, but... Okay, so yes. I'm the one that hasn't played any of these games, correct? I did not play FF5 before. No, 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 I'm saying, like, all of the Final Fantasy. So this is like, you know, mm-hmm. trying to get my toes wet into Final Fantasy. Yeah. Yep. From what I understand, you're dipping my toes into the wrong pool here. <laughs> but we agreed to we agreed to do this, you know, starting at the one right and going way. all the way. Exactly. So, I got to play this one. Again, this is going to be my <clears throat> second game played, uh, fifth game watched. Best game so far. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But my biggest gripe with these games, and this one specifically because I don't know why, it just did not have a good enough guide for my fellow Choco Bros to <laughs> okay, put yeah. me through the game. Yeah. But... This game, it if it, it's wander around until you find something that looks cool. And yeah, this I, one did get a little bit more linear, but I need more linear for my I, brain to comprehend whenever it's these uh what is it, the the turn based games. I always wonder like I picture like I mean my, my dad was older than how than I was when these games came out. I think I'm not gonna do the math in my head. But assume, assume my dad was the same age I am when these games came out. Did he have as much trouble as, like, we did, like, trying to figure it out? Or was he just better I at, like... It, it was just more accepted that the answer to 
what should I do is go find it. Yeah, it's yeah. more go explore. Can you imagine which, going through and exploring with which like, without I, I, being I, able to turn off the encounters? Well, like I don't know about mm. if you guys remember, but like whenever game video games were released, a lot of times it came with like a book of how to beat the game too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's also like a little bit of strategy there for them trying to be like, yo, we need to sell these yeah. books as well. It's more money in our pocket. So it's like where YouTubers go and find all the Easter eggs now, it's more yeah. along the lines of those books where the de devs just being like, this is what you do next, you know? Mm -hmm. See, I think five is probably the best with that so far because like, there's tons of optional stuff we didn't do. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a so lot for better. for those people back then that were looking around, there was stuff to go find other than just the thing that continues the story. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the thing is, like, the only time I felt, like, absolutely, like, what in the heck? We would have had to, drip, like, float along the uh, sea forever if we did not know exactly where to go on the map, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, I specifically remember, like, <clears throat> Crescent. Yeah. Uh, I was look. I, I mean, I was looking for something around there, and I was like, "Where the hell is this?" And granted, there's a big old crescent-shaped rock on the map, but mm. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm dumb. But maybe. Um, huh. this one, this one was definitely longer than the other ones too, in my opinion. Like it just kept definitely. dragging on, in a way. Yeah. Like I felt like there were some scenes that just didn't need to be there, where it like, and then there were some that were. How do I say? Just did they just drug it on? A little bit but like i said i i like this one more than i liked the others and i uh, i think that you know us playing it so sporadically also doesn't help yeah but yeah, this, this, this one in particular yeah but hopefully we'll get you know some sort of rhythm going i mean it, i know it's a pipe dream aggro said no but i would really really like to at least start seven before rebirth comes out That'd be nice. I will say I would like to be able to start it. I, I'm doubting it, but just because 6 is a pretty long game. Yeah, it just means Espy's going to have to... like 40 hours. Espy's just going to have to put his big boy pants on, and we're going to have to have some five-hour streams on Sundays. Uh, I would love to do that. I'll give I it would, a shot. Ironic, I'll give it a love shot. to do that. Well, I'll tell you, Tuesday, you probably... Uh... Tuesday no, we can't Tuesday, do five hours, but Tuesday we, can we can't get five next, hours. No, next Sunday we might be able to. Sunday I will I will give you, I will give you as best or as as long of a stream as I can. Two hours, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'll try. That's well, probably also, what we're gonna get. I'm, I mean, that's the I'm, longest SP normally goes. I'm expecting six to. Um, I hope it, it. I hope it makes you excited. I hope the Agro thinks you're gonna love this game. So I'm hoping it Agro makes you like. Agro thinks it's gonna be my super favorite duper, game of all time. Second favorite game of all. time. I just hope Thank it makes you. you super excited to where you'll actually want to play it. You know, you don't. That, want to put that's the what I'm down. thinking. I'm thinking that it'll. It'll because if that's the case, the then, then we're just going. Yeah, we're gonna be flying through it, and we it's five hours won't seem like much. Yeah. So. Like there's, a, um, I think for six there's a lot less downtime personally. From what I remember, it's been a while. I'll say, is but six is a lot funny less as downtime. five? Because no. five was really funny. Six, it's five is probably the most comedically focused game in the entire series, at least mainline. I also want to point out that they gave me the hardest bosses supposedly to beat in FF three and FF five, and I beat yeah, FF five gonna... in three tries. Let's go. Yeah, we oh, are also. Oh yeah, no, go go ahead, SB. I was say we are kind of CBT and you. We're giving you the hard games. But I will say one thing though: it's kind of like the the pixel remasters for console mm -hmm. are saving this. You know, they oh, they knew yeah. that it they knew that it needed like I would have modded the crap out of the game if I had to play it somewhere else. You know, I would have yeah. done these types of mods to make the game playable for me yeah. because it's just. Grindy games are not my thing, but you can ask Aggro, you can ask SB. I grinded today. It mm. nearly killed me, but I did it for Charles an hour. Is the true choker, bro. Yeah, he did. He did. He had like, like a million gil. Million gil, level 60. Let's go. But what about you, Aggro? What do you think of the game? I really like, I really, really like five. I think it's has, I, I this might be a hot take, but. Actually, I don't even think it's a hot take, to be honest. I think it has the best gameplay of any game pre-10. 
Uh, I think it really? the job system. Oh, is you like the fantastic. job system a lot. I do like the job system a lot. Uh, I think like there's a lot of variability, and I think that's why guides are so hard to find is because everyone disagrees on what you need to do. Because mm. you you have X job or Y job, but like you can use pretty hey, much anything. We Every found samurai. Year, we found samurai. We got mm-hmm. we throw money at people. Mm-hmm. That's it, man. Yeah, every, it was great. So every year there's a like, I forget what they call it, but uh, they go a bunch of people do the job fest or something where someone will cl- click the randomize button and people will be able to get ex- those four jobs, whatever the four jobs are, and it's everyone going through as those four those four jobs that year. So oh yeah, I've seen, uh, yeah, it's like job fiesta, I think. Yeah, job fiesta. And it's every year a bunch of different streamers and people do it. And like just the fact you can go alone? through is Yep, because you can go through the game with almost with any combination of jobs. So it's like do they have like a mod that allows you to get those jobs at the very beginning or uh, once you I get don't know mods, or you yeah, I don't know if it's that or if it's you play freelancer until you get the job. I think I think that might be what it is actually. I feel like I remember reading Probably, about it. Probably so that you don't And I can I can be completely I'm making it up. Yeah, I haven't watched any myself, but I've heard about it for a while. Sounds like a rando race almost. Mhm. Mm. In a way. But people do it every year. It's a, a fun thing. People like the game. I think the music's fantastic. The cast is really good, and I like the fact that it's like we're. I I will say we're about to get to the exact opposite of this, but I do. I, I think it's very strong because it's such a core, small cast. There's only five main characters. True. In the whole thing, and I'll say for six, whereas it, this game you could have four party members, five technically, even though Gallif and Kryl are technically one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, six has. 14 party members. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> some of them are completely optional. You have to choose but between those? Very, uh, your party is only four people, yep. So you have to like... Because I know I've I, I played like... You rotate I've played like the beginning of seven, mm-hmm. so I know like... You know... Oh, six. No, I'm saying seven, oh. so I know that eventually in seven I'm going to have to pick people, you know, to do things. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that. Wow. Um where like now for a large portion of the game you don't get much decision where like you're following this main character for a while and they have these party members and then you sw- uh, jump over to follow a different main character and they have these party members so like it's it's preset for a while but eventually you get to pick entirely yeah but uh i think they're both they're both very strong for what they're trying to do but i like the small core cast Exactly. I, I just, I just really like it. I think it's yeah. a really fun time. I think it's genuinely funny. Like there were a lot of jokes in the game that actually made me laugh, and not even not because we were doing voices or something, but because the joke itself was funny. All right. What was the best? What was the best gimmick? What was the best gimmick? Um, I th- if I, have I may. One. Oh, go okay. ahead. Good. No, no, you you can go. I really liked. Um, it's just the first one that pops in my head. It may not be the best, but I really like Guido talking to Bartz, and Bartz, he's like, you must gather the 12 sacred weapons. The sacred weapons? And he's like, yes. And there, and he's like, and there might be 12 of them. Like, you know, just like, obviously making fun of Bartz, like, being, like, normal pro tag, like, what did you say? I'm repeating the thing you said? Mm-hmm. I just thought that was funny. And mine was, uh, the Gilgamesh stuff. At the, Gilgamesh at is the, the best. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh so is good. awesome. I, did, I, for, I forgot that he did that thing at the end. Where he comes in and saves you. That's so good. Gilgamesh was and great. Gil- my Gilgamesh best, too. my best get, like the, 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 what is it? The, the bit, my best bit mm. was definitely aggro reading King of Tycoons stuff as fast as he mm. possibly can because yeah, they but... didn't give you time to read it. <laughs> that was and great. We got to, we got to enhance the dramatic moment when he died by making him talk normally for once. True. <laughs> Very it true, all, very true. It all came out in the end. Well, do we want to start ranking? We should, we should. Yeah. I, I well, have well, the rankings up. What is your overall ranking before we rank? Like, what, what do oh, you yeah, give yeah, it yeah. out of 10? But why would I give this out of 10? Have I given them out of 10? Because I don't know. No, but I'm just so. curious. No. I'm just curious. I mean, it's probably a 6. Okay. Like, the problem with it is, is I'm just... T- turn-based games get... 
put back into is it better than my childhood turn-based game and my childhood turn-based game was pokemon mm-hmm. nothing will be able to beat pokemon in that general aspects because i'm used to the i go you go you go i go you know stuff like that not the mm-hmm. we wait until that atb fills up <clears throat> and then i go but the other person's atb can fill up twice as fast as mine could so they get two turns for every one turn i you know it's not the same so it's like if they're a really really strong monster that can use you know hits me for 2000 and it can hit my entire party member i only have you know 3000 health so i can't even get yeah. a heal off in between that you know so i i think you will like um 10 10 is what i've heard that i should like the most just based off a of turn base so anywho well the ranking so far aggro well uh, let's start at the bottom with our uh our sid ranking for reference, I think we're still early enough that I can just read them out. Uh, the current ranking is 16, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Where's this Sid going? Now, I know you can't give your opinion on 16s. 16 is number 1. But 16 is number 1, so, yeah. Is is this Sid better than 4 Sid? Or 3 Sid? No. I don't remember this Sid. No. Mm-hmm. Because that so Sid, that Sid was pretty OG. Yep. Yeah, it was, uh, and I, honestly, I also like the three Sid. Oh, I'd, I'd yeah, say, I do remember Sid. I'd say he's above the two, but below the three. I might give him above three, but I'll I'll go with you I'm, on that one. I'm not. I wouldn't argue with you on that. So if you if you want that, I will do that. I think this Sid was okay. It's just this Sid's not the normal Sid that we would get. The normal Sid is like a little like almost gnome creature or whatever. You know, like a <laughs> yeah. Like sure. it is what we Those get it, it, for the sprites, and this one's like an old man. Mm-hmm. So this one kind of goes actually back to almost FF one Sid, non-existent. Kinda, but you know, he or FF two Sid maybe I don't know. Uh-huh. the one yeah. where you go out and you fly out, you go out to his place yeah, and he no, flies you too, places. Yeah. yeah, this one almost goes yeah. to reminisce yeah, to that's that I one. Kinda, I remember having more fun with. So maybe we do, yeah, I think I actually, I'm yeah. talking myself now into three being better because three was actually a party member as well, too, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he joined as a guest party member, yeah. Yeah, and this one wasn't a party yeah. member really at all, so. Yeah. But I will say this, mid is amazing. Mid's mid is great. not mid. Mid's great. No. So. Um, now for antagonists, currently we have uh, 16 and number one. Uh, gold bez, or sorry, four, which is gold bez, zero miss, and the four fiends at yep. number four, at two. Then one, Garland, two, mm-hmm. the Emperor and Leon, and three, Cloud of Darkness. Now, I'm gonna jump in first and say, I'd say I'd consider the antagonist uh, mainly to be uh, X Death and and Gilgamesh. Yeah, at least they you were see, the standout ones. I wouldn't call Gilgamesh like Gilgamesh is an antagonist. Yeah, like- okay, we put Leon on here. Okay, and well, I'd then, say yeah. Gilgamesh is mostly an antagonist, an antagonistic character throughout the most of the plot until the yeah. very yeah. I I think I well no, you said you wanted to go first, a, so I almost stop you. Sorry for my burp. Uh, I I think he's I think this is clearly number one. Yeah, I haven't played sixteen, but I kind of like Golbez a little bit more than this guy. Okay, I think I like Golbez more than X Death, but Gilgamesh really raises the bar. For yeah. Me. I, I I don't know. I think Gilgamesh. He's almost like he's not. He's just a funny joke guy. But I like funny joke guy. I like funny joke guy too. But I don't think of him as like an actual big baddie, because his fights were never hard. Fair. I mean, but that I, that might just be because of how we play. It could be. It could be. But it's just. I don't know. I don't know. I, the reason, I, if you're if you're wanting to rank it solely off of Gilgamesh, put him in his I mean, own category. I'm, I'm thinking of X Death as well. That's why I, we, I remember when we were deciding this of having to on deciding who's antagonist, and rather wrap it, wrapping them all into one game. Yeah, the antagonists of the game in general. I like X Death. It was fun, but Golbez had a more sinisterness about him. Mm-hmm. He also that... had a more personal connection to the protagonist. Yeah, to be fair, X Death did make a pizza joke. He did. He also became a splinter, which was hilarious. Yeah, what? he he was like, yeah. Cryo had the splinter in her, and she's like, oh, the splinter. 
And then you go to see Guido again, and X oh, is like, yeah. haha, I was the splinter. Oh, yeah, he became the splinter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with ranking number one, but at the same time, I I I just wanted my voice to get out there. I do mm-hmm. like Golbez more than I like X Death. SB, what do you what do you think? Mm, I think I think I prefer X Death Gilgamesh. And they're definitely better than the uh, 16. I think overall. Well, I haven't played it, so I don't know. Mm, that's well, a hard well, one. Mm, I'm gonna put it above, and then. Eventually, we'll get to 16 and re-rank them. Yeah, because I, I I can put my two cents in. Mm-hmm. Uh, now on to protagonist, Sean underscore AFK. Where does he sit? I, I mean, think he's, he's number one in my heart. better than Cecil. To be clear, Sean, Sean underscore AFK is Bart's. Bart's, yes. We're, we're right ranking um, Bart's. No, I, th- I think I feel like Cecil's better. Really? Man, I yeah. know people like Cecil. I hate Cecil. I, think I just so think boring. I think like when we're looking at it as like Cecil's whole story, like top to bottom, left to right, up he to has bottom, a better story. Time. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you because you two very clearly agree. I just I'm always been a Ce- Cecil disliker. Yeah, Cecil is definitely a little bit like he's got more story to him, whereas Bart's slash Sean underscore AFK is kind of just linear the entire time. It seems like, mm-hmm. but. I loved the bit of Sean underscore AFK. That was amazing. That was a very good bit. Uh, you were very against it for the very I beginning very of it. I was very against it, and if you do that for seven, I'll fight you to the death. <laughs> um, except for changing errors to error. But other than that. Uh, now for just game in general, very clearly number two right below 16. Which our current ranking is 16, 3, 4, 2, 1, Mystic Quest, 15 more for yes. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Me too. Three is really up there, though, for me. Three is very good. Yeah, yeah. that's what... The thing is, five is just three, two. Yeah, it's three, but a little bit better. Mm-hmm. And I'll say, I think six is just four, two. Is four... Uh, four, we where, where, we ranked four where? Uh, That is currently fourth, so 16, five, three, four. Okay. Well, if, if six is four, two, I'll really like it, because I, I really liked four. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. I think you'll like it a lot. Yeah. And we'll be starting that soon. Hopefully. I can't wait. This Tuesday on <laughs> SB Cat's channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have to figure mm-hmm. out how to stream again. Oh, True. Right. We got to do that. Help we have to do that. Oh, yes. So, um, oh. the biggest thing here, though, is. To make certain that you guys know that you guys can send us an email and we will read it live on this podcast. I know that we have some wonderful YouTube commenters, but we will read anything y'all say as long as it's not deplorable and, you know, get us, you know, canceled and everything. We'll read it live on here. Just email, 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 or even comment. On the YouTube video and tell us yeah. that you, tell want, us you want like to... us to read it on the podcast. Exactly. Um, but just email us at the Choka Bros uh, at, G- uh, at the Choka Bros pod at gmail.com. I do the Choka Bros, pro- the Choka Bros podcast at gmail.com. Okay. Podcast. I couldn't remember if it's pod or podcast. Oh man, that's a mouthful. Um, follow us on Twitter. I'm being more active on Twitter with our account. So make certain to do that. And also follow all of our Twitches. You guys should know where we're at by now. Uh, next up is FF6. And we're going to do that with SB Cat as as the, the controller, as you could say. I'm the, I'm the guy in the chair. The guy in the chair. Do you guys have anything else to add to this? FF5 good. Mm. FF5 good. FF6 yeah. hopefully better. Awesome. Well, thank you all for listening. I hope you have a great rest of your week and day. I will see you. In the next one. Bye. Bye.